What is up guys, this is your boy Solo Bear back again, you guys already know. This time we're going to be covering the Nintendo NX, or what they call the Nintendo Switch, which just got announced a few moments ago. I have a video here, it says first look at the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I'm going to be taking a look at this. Um, I saw a screenshot of what the Nintendo NX or Switch looks like, and it just looks like... It looks like the Wii, but modified. Or you know the gamepad you have on the Wii U? Well, it's like you can the controller you can like the the sides where the not not the screen but where the buttons are the analog sticks you can like move it up or maybe down and i don't know how that mechanic is going to work but anyway i have a video right here going to take a look at what's going on Definitely getting Zelda. I don't know if it's going to be for the Nintendo Switch or for the Wii U. Look, Domino's. What? Alright, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That was, that's cool. That's cool. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's pretty cool. Alright, how far do you have to be from the actual system though? 3DS? Oh, you can play, it can play DS games? If this can play 3DS games, it's over. I get it. Oh, alright, alright, alright. All right, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's a charger. I think that is the system. I guess we're getting another galaxy. Can it play Wii and Wii U games? Tell me it can play 3DS games. If this can play 3DS games and has an HDMI in the back, it's a fucking rap. This thing better be like 200 bucks. If this is 200 dollars, <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the technology. This, this looks crazy. They're about to play League of Legends. Splatoon. That's cool. I like how they, I like how they had the idea of esports behind it. Okay. I like how they added like an esports atmosphere into it. March 2017. That's like right around the corner. Alright, 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 alright. They got me. 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 So I already know like going going off of like the the lifespan and just what the Wii U did in the past. The Wii U system itself was cool, but they, there was there were no games that set aside the Wii U from the PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 Xboxes. So <clears throat> everyone always says Nintendo has the power to be number one by coming out with the old games, the Metroid, the Star Foxes. Like it's it's right in your it's right in their face, and they're not utilizing it. So like if they literally come out with 
a game for each character in Smash Brothers, basically, because they're all like first party characters, except recently there's like third party characters now. If the entire roster gets their own games for like the Nintendo Switch or whatever, it can be good. But if they make this system and then you can you can play third party games and there's not really much first party games that people want to play then it's going to it's going to live the same life cycle it's going to live the same lifestyle as the wii u the system was decent i like the system but there were only like three games that i played on it and we would get this system and it's just going to sit here now in that video i really really like how they added the the atmosphere and the potential of like esports that's cool nintendo's like always been against like pvp and all that other stuff I, I, I'm, I'm guessing that they added that feature or that, 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 that little segment in the video because of the esports community and how like everything's blowing up around like um, League of Legends esports is becoming like a mainstream thing. Also, I want to know if there's any type of compatibility with the 3DS or with the Wii U or with the Wii because we saw Mario, we saw them playing on the Nintendo Switch but it was a Mario game and it did look like Mario Galaxy or maybe it was a new Mario coming out, it looked like Super Mario 3D World possibly. So I'm thinking that it can play Wii U games and it can play 3DS games. If it can play the 3DS games and Wii U games, that right there, I would actually purchase it. Like I said I wasn't gonna, I didn't want to support Nintendo, I didn't, I didn't want to I didn't want to purchase it, but it is actually looking really good. The conveniency and the tech behind it is crazy. Like, it's it's insane. You can literally play it anywhere. Like, that's portable. Can you imagine Zelda Breath of the Wild portable? And like, in the video, I saw him, you see him in the park sitting on the bench playing. And I'm like, okay, how far away does it have to be from the system? But I think the system is the screen itself. That screen is the system. And then the little, the pieces on the side would be your controller. But the pieces on the side actually go with the home controller as well. So if you want to play with the home controller, or it's going to have its own, um, like, pro pad. It looked like that. It had its own pro pad, like the Wii U. You can buy that. Or it's gonna come with uh, the two dongles or the the dominoes. I'm gonna call them the dominoes. It's gonna come with the two domino pieces. You you put you actually switch them or connect them on the screen. The screen itself is going to be the system, and you can either hook that up to your to your TV to play it on a bigger screen, or while you're out, you can actually just put the put the domino pieces on the screen and just walk around and just do your thing. And that's crazy. So two major things I want to know because I I do stream games. Um, on Twitch, and uh, I want to make YouTube videos, and the, and the easier way to do that um, is with my capture card uh, that I have, the Black Magic, versus getting my 3DS modded for capturing. A lot of people have had really mixed reviews and mixed feelings on the modded 3DS capture and how it, 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 it malfunctions a lot. And if you had an, uh, a, a third party or an external capture card, a device that's made for capturing that would be much better so one thing two things i want to know can you play 3ds games on it which i'm going to get i'm probably going to get that answer very soon can you play 3ds games on it can you play wii u games on it and does it have an hdmi port so you can actually connect it to the tv which i'm pretty sure it is that that last one i said i'm pretty sure it's going to have that meaning that i can stream future games but if it has that compatibility i can play my 3ds games that i haven't touched and also Wii U games, you know I mean, I mean, there's, I want, I want to pay, play Fatal Frame 5, so, but that's, that's a digital download only, so maybe, I don't know if it's going to have a store that's connected to the 3DS or to the Wii U, or is it going to have its own store, that's another thing, but that's not really too important, but that compatibility with the 3DS is very important, I want to know if it can actually do that, and if it can do that, and it has the HDMI port, then we're already killing the game right there, so anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much, I'm excited, I, I did not think I was going to be excited for it, the conveniency was ridiculous. The the portability was ridiculous. And Nintendo was never about the graphics for me anyway. That's not a system that pushes graphics. It doesn't have to push graphics if it comes out with the right games. So I'm not gonna worry about that, but just it look it looks great. And you have like an HD, a high a high def screen you can walk around with. Like so it's gonna it's gonna look at least up to par with the Vita technology. And it's on the go. So anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm like really excited about it. I want to see this price tag. The price tag better be no more than $250. It better not be $300 because the Xbox One 
is like 200 or 250 or 300 something like that the ps4 is 300 they're coming out with their slims they're coming out with their their neos and their scorpios or whatever that uh, the other stuff is and they they're, they're coming they're coming with like packing and these components that i'm asking for for the switch has to have these things in order to, to even be considered a contender at all but even even then they need a prayer so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below please hit the thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace i'm out